Welcome to the Pear Shaped Fitness Food and Fitness Log. This is a way to track your way to a healthier, happier you. This is a 7 by 10 inch journal. It is 280 pages in thickness. This is the back cover made with love by Pear Shaped Fitness. Thank you so much for your purchase. And now let's jump right into it. On the first page, you have the option to write the date that you started and why you want to be healthy. So really write down your big why here and all of your goals. And of course, who the journal belongs to and where to contact you in case it is lost. You also receive a nice welcome letter from me that goes over some of the things we will be talking about in this video, but just in case you do not want to open this video every time you have a question, check your first page. The first thing that you do when you receive your journal is that you write your measurements before and after. Before is today, the day that you start your journal. Day one, week one, let's go, congratulations. Write the date, you can measure your chest, both arms, your waist, your hips, both thighs, both calves, your weight, and record any notes that you want to. Do not do anything in the after column. This is after you are done with this journal on week 52. Every week will look the same, and this is how it starts. You have a weekly meal planner, where you can plan each day what you want to eat. You can meal prep. You can make a shopping list here. Write down every single thing that you need because you get 30 spaces. So really be thorough. And then take it to the grocery store with you so that you can check off what you have as you go. Now we move into your weekly food log. As you can see, there are five places here, so there is space to record three meals a day and two snacks. It is very thorough. You can write down your macronutrients, carbs, fats, proteins, serving sizes, calories, any miscellaneous information that you want, and a little space for notes for each meal that you have on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There are five on one page and then here are the other two days and don't worry about your small note section because you have a very large note section here so really take this time to write how did you feel what meals did you like what do you never have to eat again <laughs> that you tried maybe new and that was a no-no write down everything you want to about the food that you had this week here next we move into your workout log you have the same type of format. You can write down up to five exercises. So let's say you did circuits this week and you did some box jumps, some squats, some push-ups, some sit-ups. How many sets of that workout did you do? Did you do three sets? Did you do two sets? Write that down here. Reps is how many repetitions of that exercise did you do? Did you do 10 push-ups, two sets of 10 push-ups? If you did, write that here. Did you use any weight? WT is weight. Did you use any weight? Did you use resistance bands? You can put that here as well. How much time did you rest? How much total time did you use? What were your RMs? And then record any notes here. There are five days of exercise, assuming that you take two days off. Each day you have the option to write the date, how much you weigh, you may weigh yourself every day if you'd like. How much did you sleep and how many total calories burned from each exercise that you did that day. At the end of every four weeks, you will see a body progress tracker. So we're starting week one here and then I'll show you how it continues. You can write down the goals that you want. So what size do you want your arms, waist, hips, thighs, and your weight to be? And then you can write down your progress here. 
So what size is your waist on week one? What size are your arms on week two? What size are your thighs on week three? How about your hips? I love this page because you are really able to measure your progress against your goals. This is great. A blank page signifies new week. Congratulations. You may decorate this page however beautifully you'd like. Week two, write the date, bring out your stickers, really get creative here, or take this time just to make some more notes. Each week looks the same. You have your weekly meal planner, your weekly food log, and your weekly workout log. I want to show you week five because this is another body progress tracker. So week one, two, three, and four, all of these weeks, bookmark this page because you will have to come here after you finish week two to write down your measurements and your goals. So every five weeks, you will have a new body progress tracker. Hope that makes sense. At the end of 52 weeks, because this is a one year weekly planner, you will see some pages to write your reflections. How did you feel along your journey? What have you learned? You have two pages here to write about it. If two pages is not enough, you have a nice beautiful page here to write as well. And always remember you have a very large notes section each week after the food log so that you may write down any notes that you need to, to keep track of throughout your journal. And you have one more thing to do. Remember this page? Congratulations, you've completed your journal. It's the end of a year. You've crushed your goals. Write it down here and keep this notebook so that you can always go back and look at your progress before and your progress after. And now you can see exactly how you got there. Thank you so much for purchasing the Food and Fitness Log by Pear Shaped Fitness.